What's up guys, Horus Gaming here and welcome back to another creative tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make weather in Fortnite Creative. So let's jump straight into it. So here we are guys, today I am going to be teaching you guys how to make snow and rain in Creative. So these are two new effects that not many people know about and I'm going to be teaching you another little secret as well on uh, how to make rain more realistic. Here's the VFX spawner, this is what you want to spawn. So you want to place this down in game and as you can see that's what it looks like. And then if you go through it there's a bunch of different settings as you can see. There's a bunch of like lightning, fog, um, so you can use fog if you really want to and uh, things like that. So as you can see, if it loads, uh, it takes a while, but that's what fog looks like, and you can make it thicker as well. But I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make rain and snow. So here's snow. This one's really cool, as you can see. One tip I would give if you're going to be using this is don't go over five of these, because as you can see, it gets pretty crazy, and it can literally crash your game if you keep going and adding more of these to make a blizzard. However, try and stick to about five. As you can see, the frame rates just go down like significantly. So that is how to get snow in creative. Now let's show you how to make rain. So this one is really cool because it involves the radio. You can find this in the devices menu by just typing radio just here. As you can see, it's there. You want to place that down as well as a VFX spawner and then you want to put these settings into the VFX spawner here. So spark rain on the effect, uh, colorize VFX, so you want that on, and then custom color, you want it silver, and let's just enable that now. So as you can see, it's gonna start raining. And if I go on to here, you're gonna hear that there's gonna be rain sounds. So, what's really cool about this is here's a setting you want to put on. Uh, Spooky Rain House of Mirrors. And you can only find this in the radio and it'll play the entire time you're in the game. You can also change the sound and the audio distance and things like that. So maybe it's raining on one part of your map. So maybe you want this in the corner and you don't want them to hear it on the other side. You can do the audio distance and have it just in the area that you've got the rain. Now another, one of the problems with this is if you're going to have rain and buildings, the rain actually appears inside the buildings, which is quite a shame, but yeah, that's how that works. Um, another thing I want to show you with uh, snow, oh actually, <laughs> before we move on, with rain you have to make the device, so you want to resize it, and as you can see you can either make it large or small. You want to make it as small as possible, because if you make it quite large, it doesn't look very good. And you want to probably place a few of these around as well so it looks like it's actually storming rather than just, you know, just dripping. But yeah, that is the rain. Let me show you another little cool trick with snow. So let's move out of here. It's The, the distance on the rain as well in the snow and this VFX spawner is quite uh, big, which is cool. So let's turn this back on and if you colorize this, so let's go into the settings, change that to colorize and change it to grey or black. You can actually get a cool new effect which looks like ash. So let's say you've got a volcano on your map and you want ash to be falling from the sky. Then as you can see this is how to make ash as well. There is a bunch of other cool different settings that you can do with these settings. You could add that ash to falling rocks which is cool. So yeah, bunch of cool new settings that you might not know known about in Fortnite Creative. I hope this video did help you. Make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe for more. Click the bell so you get notified when I upload in the future. And I'll see you guys in the next one.